Hello everyone, this is KDART, the 3D Fabrication Manager for the Fastener Lab, and I wanted to discuss the basic layout and mouse operations in Rhino. It might look intimidating, but don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. Before we go any further, it is important to address mouse versus trackpad. While you can use a trackpad, it will be difficult and inefficient. A three-button mouse will be your best friend while using Rhino. Let's open up Rhino. The first thing that is going to appear is a box asking you to open a file or template. If you are starting a new file, we generally select the small objects in inches template. Rhino will open and if you look, in the lower left hand corner, you can see the units you are working in. When Rhino opens, we have a lot of information and tools at our disposal, so let's go through everything. First we have four different viewports, each looking in a different direction. Each viewport has an origin and coordinate plane that corresponds to the world coordinate system or the central reference point for the file. The title of the viewport you are working in is highlighted. On the right hand side we have a panel of tabs that are important for organizing different objects in your file and assigning different properties. On the left hand side are typical commands for constructing. Just above the viewports are tabs that can be changed to access more specific commands than the ones on the left hand side. At the bottom of the screen there are options to help you move and connect to different objects. Finally there's the command line that you can type commands in or if you select the command icon then the command will be initiated in this window and might have additional options relating to that command. I highly recommend you have the help tab open. When using a command, a description, an example of that command will open. If you do not see the tabs or help tab, you can go to the tool panel drop down menu and select help and drag the window to wherever you like it. Every time you select a command icon or type in a command, there may be additional steps or information needed. Now that we have an object in our viewport, we can see why it is easier to have a mouse. Using the scroll button we can zoom in, the right mouse button down will allow us to pan around, the left button is for selecting objects or command icons. To select multiple objects at once we can hold the left mouse button down and drag a box over everything. You can also hold shift down to select multiple objects. If you want to deselect objects, hold control down while deselecting them. That is all for now. I hope this helps you see the layout of everything and become familiar with the Rhino program.